All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I came across this one, and this is a situation that I was like, well, thanks God that it happened the right way, right? Thanks God that these two guys kind of like walked away and, uh, um, you know, they nothing bad happened. But again, this could have been really bad. I'm about to play a video here for you guys to see, and let's talk about it, right? And one thing that I wanted to mention right from the back is that you know california is one of those states that have crazy gun control right we all know that i mean it's insane to buy a gun so some of those things could potentially have play in the factor why this family didn't have a gun but if you are one of those families or you are a family that doesn't have a firearm probably not you guys here watch my channel you guys probably have guns uh but this is why you know what having a gun is so important because you could protect your family when that ultimate last moment happen and the thing about this is that this family just by you know the the surveillance cameras and things like that obviously have some kind of preparation plan you know obviously they had a camera they care about the safety they care about making sure the family is safe and they were able to catch this in camera but ultimately that camera that system did not stop the bad guy uh from committing a horrible attack and he could have done it the reason why he left, and you're about to see the video, but the reason why he walked away is because he made that decision. You know, he could have come in and caused mass damage to this lady. So let's watch the video. Two masked men seen kicking in a front door while a mother and her young son were inside. Now we're hearing from that mom, and it's her screams that might have scared them off. It's the attempted break-in caught on camera. Watch as this would-be intruder knocks several times in broad daylight. When no one answers, he pulls up his mask and another burglar joins in and they try to break into this California home. When they saw me pull out to take my oldest to Amor Valley, they went, huh, oh, they're gone. No one's there. It's an empty driveway. But the house wasn't empty. Inside was Darren's wife, Andrea, and their young son. I didn't know what it was. Half the house was shaking because the way they were trying to force themselves inside the house. Once the burglars bust the door open, to their surprise, Andrea standing right there. So first of all, I want to make a quick point right here. The guy actually knocked a couple times. And I think the reason why he was doing that is because he really wasn't looking to cause no damage. He was just looking to steal. That's what he was doing. That's why he waited for the guy to left. He probably made sure that he left. And then he came and knocked on the door but the thing about it is that the wife was taking a shower so maybe she took her time or whatever obviously uh she didn't open the door but if you see him in the camera he's not wearing a mask he's just knocking i got the feeling i'm just saying got the feeling that if the girl would have opened the door he would have said something stupid and walked away because he really wasn't looking to cause them any damage and or any injuries and that's why in my opinion uh, nothing crazy other than that happened. But the moment that nobody answered, he felt that, all right, no one is in the house. I'm going to start kicking down this door. So another thing right here as I'm watching the video, you know, it's two guys. And what does that mean? Two guys mean multiple suspects, right? Multiple, multiple criminal. So this is why having a firearm that has a great capacity comes so important. I know in California, you have restrictions on magazines, you know, like bunch of dumb stuff but again think about dealing with multiple suspects with a limited capacity you know maybe six rounds in a revolver or something like that i mean can it be done obviously some of you guys are experts out there guys some of you guys argue with me some of you guys know how to use guns really well but i'm talking about the basic guy you know the guys that have no idea dealing with a with multiple suspects with six rounds is not the same that dealing with multiple suspects with 17 rounds you know that additional 11 rounds is going to give you that amount of round necessary in case it goes bad it could it could take a lot of rounds to fight two guys that are armed right so again you know having that good capacity to me is super important multiple suspects just scary and you got to be able to deal with that the best way you can you need the best tool for the job so the door opened and she screamed and the guys ran away. Why? Because the guys really wasn't looking to do anything horrific to her. If the guys were looking to do something horrific, they would have done it. And she would have not 
had a chance. So as you see the news, I'll link the video down below. She screamed it right away, you know, like, oh, it was okay. This poor lady have no way to defend herself. And as far as I know, from reading the article, from watching the news and things like that, I don't know that she did, in fact. But what I want to see out of this video is that you could look at this video, some of you guys out there, and you could prepare to face this situation. And the best way to prepare to face the situation is having a firearm. Because if she would have had a gun, she would have been able to make sure 100 percent that her children her boy or little girl i think it was 11 uh was there was protected at that point is those two guys would have been armed and they would have walked in uh inside the house she will have zero chance to survive that so we got to be ready for that stuff and again having a firearm is the best way this is really a scary situation to deal with that's why having a gun is just the best way a lot of you guys say things like hey you know what uh, my wife doesn't like guns and my wife won't touch a gun and i totally get it your wife is not going to like everything that you like right there, there's some things that we like to do maybe the girls like to do something else I'm not girls you know some girls like to shoot too but i'm saying in general you know maybe some of the dudes out there some of you guys don't like riding bikes i do right but nevertheless uh that kind of goes out the window so i gotta tell you you know when something Crazy is happening. Either you like guns or not, you're going to grab it because a gun is a tool. You know, you don't like hammers. You don't fantasize about hammers. You don't fantasize about what is the best hammer. But if you got to put a nail in the in the wall, what do you do? You grab a hammer and you like bang on the, on the wall and make sure that nail is in there, right? She may not like guns, but I tell you what, when something bad happens, she's going to grab that gun and make sure her family is protected. It happens all the time in the news. So that's why one of the things that I say, you know what? Even though she doesn't like guns, maybe she could practice. Maybe she could go with you on the range, make it fun, make it like a fun day. You know, hey, baby, I'm taking you to have chicken wings and, and you know, shoot some guns. Me and Stacy do that sometimes. And uh, just take it out there and make sure she's familiar and making sure that she knows how to use it. And if something bad happens, she will be able to use it. Again, she doesn't have to love it. She doesn't have to like it. It's just a hammer that is sitting in a safe in case you got to put some nails on the wall, if that makes any sense. Again, I wanted to share this video with you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And as always, God is in control.